Timing belt and coolant pump replacement. Jack up the front of the vehicle and remove the right wheel. Remove the front right hand wheel arch liner. Remove the radiator protective cover. Remove the hose clamp of the radiator bottom hose. Place a drain pan under the radiator. Unpick the radiator bottom hose. Remove the cap from the expansion bottle. Open the engine block bleed screw. Open the heater radiator bleed screw. Remove the suspended engine mounting bolt. Support the engine with the jack. Remove the right hand engine mounting. Remove the up timing cover. Remove the camshaft position sensor. Move aside the fuel pipes. Disconnect the battery negative terminal. Raise the engine. Remove the lower timing cover. Raise the engine. To remove the cylinder head mounting, use preferably short sockets 3 8 Remove the cylinder head mounting. You will see further in the video than it is possible to raise the engine much higher to improve accessibility. Disconnect the oil sensor connector. Remove the TDC pin plug using a female Torx socket. In order to align the camshaft timing sprocket hole, we must turn 3 fourths turn starting from that position. Rotate the crankshaft before the hole in the camshaft timing sprocket is opposite the hole in the cylinder head. In order to achieve a proper game to crankshaft timing, use a suitable timing tool set for your vehicle. Use the crankshaft setting rod. Screw the crankshaft setting rod in the crankshaft timing hole. Turn the crankshaft until it comes into contact with the crankshaft setting rod. Peg the camshaft pulley. The marks on the new timing belt must be aligned with those on the camshaft pulley and the high pressure pump pinion.
Remove the camshaft pulley setting rod. Remove the crankshaft setting rod. Lock the flywheel with the screwdriver. Remove the crankshaft pulley. The crankshaft sprocket is not key to crankshaft. It can rotate freely. The method of marking the old belt with turbex and to defer the reference marks on the new belt cannot be used with a free crankshaft pinion. With a free crankshaft pinion, it is mandatory to adjust the timing belt with setting rods. Remove the screwdriver from the flywheel and screw the crankshaft setting rod. Screw the bolt of the crankshaft pulley with its washer. Turn the crankshaft until it comes into contact with the crankshaft setting rod. Peg the camshaft pulley. Remove the timing tensioning roller. Remove the timing belt. Remove the bolt of the auxiliary drive belt tension roller. Remove the bolts of lower timing cover. Remove the auxiliary drive belt tension roller. Remove the lower timing cover. Remove the coolant pump. Clean the joint face. Refit the new coolant pump.
refit the radiator bottom hose. Fill the cooling system. Close the engine block bleed screw as soon as the coolant starts to flow. Close the heater radiator bleed screw as soon as the coolant fluid starts to flow. Check that there is no leak from the coolant pump. Refit the lower cover. Refit the timing tensioning roller. Refit the timing belt. The arrows go in clockwise rotation. Align the marks on the belt with those on the camshaft pulley and the high pressure pump pinion. Fit the belt on the crankshaft pinion. If you have modified the crankshaft position, turn it until it comes into contact with the crankshaft setting rod. Warning, if you remove the camshaft pulley setting rod, ensure to refit it before tensioning the belt. Loosen the tensioner roller bolt. Move the belt on the edges of the pinions. Fit the belt on the tension roller. Check that the marks on the belt are aligned with those on the camshaft pulley and the high pressure pump pinion. Tension the belt by positioning the adjustable index below the timing window. In this position, the belt is tightened much than the normal.
Turn the crankshaft until it comes into contact with the crankshaft setting rod. Hold the belt from the top with the right hand to prevent the crankshaft from turning while you remove the crankshaft pulley bolt. Refit the crankshaft pulley. The tightening torque for Clio 2 is 20 Nm plus 130 degrees angle tighten. Tighten to 20 Nm. An angle of 130 degrees represents a little more than two sides of bolt. One side equals 60 degrees. Mark the crankshaft pulley to make sure the washer does not rotate during the tightening. Remove the camshaft setting rod. Remove the crankshaft setting rod. Rotate the crankshaft through one revolution before the hole in the camshaft timing sprocket is opposite the hole in the cylinder head. Screw the crankshaft setting rod. Turn the crankshaft until it comes into contact with the crankshaft setting rod. Peg the camshaft pulley. It is normal that the marks on the belt are no longer aligned with those on the camshaft pulley and the high pressure pump pinion. The numbers of teeth of the pulleys being different, there should be several revolutions of the crankshaft for the marks are aligned again. Remove the camshaft setting rod. Remove the crankshaft setting rod. Tension the belt by lining the adjustable index in the middle of the timing window. Tighten to torque the tensioner roller. 
refit the cylinder head mounting. Here's how to raise the engine very high to improve accessibility. Pull the engine towards you to move away the air filter from the engine compartment while operating the jack. Refit the lower cover. Refit the camshaft position sensor. Refit the upper cover. Refit the auxiliary drive belt tensioner roller. Use a wrench to maintain the engine ahead. Refit the auxiliary drive belt. If the tensioner pulley is not automatic, use a tire changer or an iron bar to push down the tensioner pulley. Rotate the auxiliary belt auto tensioner clockwise to tension the belt. Tighten the mounting bolts. Check the belt tension. The belt should be twisted a little less than a quarter turn in the middle of the longest length of the belt, between two pulleys. Apply thread locker, medium strength, to the TDC pin plug. Refit the TDC pin plug. Reconnect the oil sensor connector. Refit the engine mounting.
Take back the jack. Refit the suspended engine mounting bolt. Refit the radiator protective cover. Refit the front right hand wheel arch liner. Refit the wheel. Reconnect the battery. Start the engine. Warm the engine up until the thermostat opens. Top up coolant fluid if necessary. Check the coolant fluid level during a few days before taking the road and top up if necessary.